Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to show you what you can do if you have a signature conflict in your disk management. And as you can see here, I have two disks attached here to my computer and the second one here is marked offline. And if I hover over the I symbol here, it will tell me offline the disk is offline because it has a signature collision with another disk in that is online. Okay. Each disk in Windows has a unique ID um, and if uh, you have a duplicate ID, then you will get this error. How do you get a duplicate ID? Because they are well generated random. Well, this happens if you use a tool like Minitool Shadowmaker to clone your hard disk. And then if you have both disks that attached to your computer, the original one and the cloned one, then you will run into this problem here and Windows will set the second disk offline. Okay, the problem is easily solvable, but first we want to uh, have a look how we can find out the ID of the disk. Okay, in order to have a look to the IDs, we will start a command prompt here. Important thing is run at as administrator. Let's do that. And in here we have to start the tool disk part. And the disk part hit enter and then we are in the disk part tool. And what we can do here is we can list all the available disks in the system by entering list disk. And this will show us the disks as they are shown here in the disk man management section, disk zero and disk one. And disk one is offline because of the signature collision. And what we can do here now is uh, select a disk by entering select disk and then the number of the disk. In my case, I select the first one and we want to show the ID of the disk. So we enter unique ID disk, hit enter, and this will output the disk ID. And if I select the second disk, which is in conflict with the first one and output the unique ID for the disk, this will output the same disk ID. Okay, how we can solve the problem? Well, it's very, very easy. You just have to click right here on the disk and put the disk online. And as you can see, the disk is now online and now I can, uh, well, I can change the drive letter and the pass, or I can also delete the volume so I can work with the disk now without any problem. And in the background, what Windows does is it changes the ID in this case when I set the disk online. And if I enter unique ID disk here and again with this card, you can see that the disk ID is now changed. So the disk ID will be generated again. So the disk is now usable in the computer. And well, that's all that's to it. That's how you can solve the problem if you have a signature collision in disk management. Goodbye.